guys and welcome back to my channel welcome to another travel haul video so in this video as you can tell i'm talking about the new cow pack things that i just bought i know i just did one in december but they had a sale and i couldn't not participate so in this video i have a few cow pack items i'm not going to be keeping all i do know that um because i bought a couple sizes of things just to see what i would like and then another um cow pack version of something to see if that is going to kind of give me what i need so there may be some things that i'm returning i'm just trying to figure everything out and i figured if it's on sale let me get it now that way if i like it i pay the discounted price now, I will say CalPAC always, I feel like they always have a sale going. Like, CalPAC isn't kind of the place where they have, like, one major sale or two major sales a year. They are constantly having sales. So, if there's something in this video you see that I post that you like, you could very well sign up for their newsletters and there will probably be, like, a notification of a sale soon. This sale was 15% off of multiple items so as long as you purchase two or more items you got 15 percent off of each of those things and i purchased four now i am going to be talking about i think i'm actually going to be showing you guys everything i currently own from calpac um so you don't have to necessarily go back to my other travel videos but i will link those that way if there's something that i didn't cover in this one you can go back and look at that so let's go ahead this is our box this is our box from CalPAC, and we're going to go ahead and get inside of it and take a look at our goodies. Now, the first thing I'm going to pull out this bag is a, uh, not a cosmetic case, a, a toiletry bag. It is a hanging toiletry bag. Let me show you what I currently own from CalPAC. So, I have... Pull this out. I have their large make, um, what do they call it? I'll post it here if I say the wrong name, but I have their large cosmetic case in the color stone. You all know I like my neutrals. And I absolutely love this. One, it's easy to clean. It's plastic. You can wipe it down, dry it off. Super easy. And this outside material, in my experience, you just wipe things off. You don't have to worry about anything staining the fabric. So I really like this. And you can see that I have a ton of stuff in here. So the reason I'm looking for another case, not because I don't like this one, but I've decided I do want to separate my makeup product. Even though if you look back at a couple of videos, I was like, I want it in one case. I know I changed my mind, but I want to separate like my makeup products out of where I have like my skincare and my body care, just because I feel like it gets a little too stuffed. And then there are other things like right now, all of my stuff that I would carry isn't in here. So I feel like it becomes overstuffed and this way I can grab this part when I need it. And then when I specifically need makeup, I can do that. So I wanted to order another CalPAC case since I like this one and see if that will work for my makeup. I do not carry a ton of makeup, so I don't need anything super big. Um, let me show you what this one looks like first. All right, so this one is a two section compartment and they're pretty much identical except for this side. So this side, you just unzip this and you stick all of your product in that little hole there. And on this side, you do the exact same thing um here the only difference is you have this section here where you can stick other things in it so if i open this up it's just like a little pouch that you can stick like some smaller items in there so this one has basically three sections and like i say i absolutely love it it has the little feet so when you put it down like on a counter it's not sitting directly on that part it's sitting on its little feet and it's cute i like it gets the job done but, like I said, I want something that I can separate my makeup and then my, like, skin, body care, that type of stuff. So, I ordered this. And this is their Luca Hanging Toiletry Bag. Now, I have, everything I have from CalPAC is in the Luca collection, except for this cosmetic case. This doesn't have, like, a specific collection. It, it is its own thing. But everything I have is in this Luca collection, and the Luca collection is basically this puffy material and everything I do have is in this color which I think is called like oh it's oatmeal 
All my stuff is in this oatmeal color. So this is what it looks like, but I can already tell it's actually probably way too big, but let's take a look. All right, so I don't want to rip up the bag, but okay, so here's what this one looks like. It's like a little pouch. Now, what I wasn't sure of is if this was structured or something you can like roll and it is structured. So, I mean, this one I will say now, of course, this has product in it already. Um, but this one, you know, empty is lightweight. It has a handle at the top. It does have a small zipper area on the back. So that's one compartment and you probably can't see this. I don't know how well you can see that, but the, you can at least hear that's plastic. So of course, easy to wipe out, which is always good. Now I will say with this material, it is easy to clean. Like if I get a stain, I can wipe it off with a cloth or I just use like a magic eraser. But if you're going to go with a lighter color, you want to just keep that in mind. I don't know how bad like makeup might stain because sometimes makeup just doesn't come off no matter what you try to clean it with so i don't know that's something to kind of think about but of course if you get a darker color it wouldn't show up as much um there is a little pouch on the sides there are no zippers but you can stick stuff in those pouches and then it opens okay has the little zippers down at the bottom they have the cute little cow pack branding the wording on them i don't know if you can see that there you go um, so it looks like a lunchbox. <laughs> it's actually smaller than I thought. So this one has the hanging compartment, like I said, so it has this strap that you can hang. So if you're in a bathroom, it doesn't have feet on the bottom, but you can get it off the counter to give you more space. It does have this top little small zipper compartment. That plastic material is behind there in both of them. So one smaller, so that's already three sections. And then we come down here. Here is a fourth zippered section. And then we have the inside where you just have like an open, put that there for now, an open space. And then you have uh, little uh, elastic pieces on the side. So this one definitely has more compartments. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten compartments in one uh, two, three, four, five of those are, so half and half are zippered where you can close it off. Now, I can already tell you, but for me though, I don't have this much makeup. Like, now it would fit like the, my current brush length. So one of these little brown containers holds my brushes. And so that would fit in here. The one thing that was one concern that would fit in here but outside of that this is actually way more space than i probably need and i do like it i will i will say i do feel like you probably i don't know though i was gonna say you probably get more space in there but i'm not sh yeah you do because this one's this one's definitely smaller like this one seems to be this one's wider because each section is only like th this size or this size but i do feel like you probably get more in there but this is still a nice size I feel like if I had bought this one to just have like my body care, I probably would be able to fit it in there. Um, but this is just too big for how much makeup I typically take on a trip. But I will say if I did not already have the other one, I would totally get this because this is really cute, convenient, and it matches everything else I have. I just don't need something this large. So my other option so the other option that they have and i'm just going to stick this back in here so it doesn't get messed up the other option they have is with the clear cape i feel like if they had this in the smaller version i would be so for it but the other option they have they this comes in three different sizes it comes in large medium and it comes in a small i was going to also buy the small so i could compare the small to that one and see how much i like it but they were out of stock in this color so i didn't get it but i think that is going to have to be the route that i go because it'll be smaller than this hopefully <laughs> smaller where i can just get my makeup stuff in there but i don't feel like I have something too big that I'm not using because I don't want to have something that isn't full. And I know me and how I do makeup. It's not, I'm not going to have like this huge 50 piece makeup 
collection when I'm traveling. Like, that's just not me. So I think what I'll do is the next time the small one of these comes back in stock, I'll go ahead and order that. Um, and then if the brushes don't fit, that's fine. Cause I could just get travel size brushes that I just keep in there all the time. So I think that's what I'm going to do, but I love this one. This one is 95. I believe the medium is 85 and the small is 75. I will include links to the big one. Um, since that's the one I have everything that I have and everything I'm talking about, I will include a link, but you can easily get to the other sizes as well. Um, and then once I order that we'll compare. So I haven't figured out my makeup compartment issue yet but that is okay so let's look at the other item i got okay so i ordered two of these because i don't have either one and it comes in two sizes and i wasn't sure what size i wanted to get so this is the belt bag by calpac now i purchased this bag here So I purchased this bag and this is from Uniqlo and it's just like a nice easy wipeable fabric. I think this might be waterproof as well. I can't remember. It has an adjustable strap and you can just kind of sling it over. It's just like a shoulder bag. You can have it high if you wanted to or you can adjust the strap so it's a little bit longer. I don't know if I'm making this thing longer or tighter. There we go. So you can make it longer. You can carry it however you want and I, I love it. It's in one of my colors so i have that i absolutely love it i'm not trying to replace it but i was like maybe i should also get the belt bag because the belt bag is also in the luca collection and that means that i'm traveling it all matches so i was like i want to get that now i'm not going to get it just for travel purposes i'll use it like an everyday bag as well because it will match literally everything i'm wearing you see this matches this my green matches my creams and tans so they have two versions and i just wanted to see which version i wanted to keep here's the mini one which honestly this is about the size of the shoulder bag i have from uniqlo that i just showed so that's sufficient so I'll probably go with this one but I wanted to see how much difference this one is and see which one I like the best so let's compare the two all right so this is just the the regular belt bag um okay I'm gonna have to take this off yeah, this is the only thing about trying to compare what you want. I hate having to take off the the, the packaging because I don't know which one I want. But okay, so here's how the, the big one looks. This is the big one here. They're both exactly the same. They have the same material, all of that. Um, this one has the compartment at the back. And this is an easy material to wipe off as well. So you have this zipper compartment. That is one thing with my Uniqlo bag that I wish it had. It doesn't have any other zipper compartments except to get into the bag and then they have two pouches where you can stick stuff in but you can't zip it so this is cool having a zipper compartment where you can close it um, and then we have and separate from the other stuff then we have the inside oh I'm already excited because there's tons not tons <laughs> compared to the other one so here's the inside of the bag but there is a bigger zipper compartment here which like I said my Uniqlo one it's just two pouches where you can slide stuff in, but you can't close it off. And I like to kind of separate my things. I like to compartmentalize. Yep, even in my stuff. So there's one, and then we have this one that is on the So this one is uh, closed off, as you can see, and this one is more mesh, so you can see in it. And, you know, that one you can also separate, and then you have the inside of the bag. So now I'm kind of thinking I want the large one. I don't know, because this doesn't feel too large. The other thing I have to do is like the chest test. If I do decide to wear this over my chest, um, because I probably will not wear it as a fanny pack. But sometimes I feel like bags like this over the chest kind of make my chest look way bigger than they already are. And they already, I already have a large size chest, so I don't like things that makes them feel larger, if that makes any sense, or appear larger, that could just be in my head, but hey, it's a thing. So, okay, adjusting this is a little weird. How do we do this? All right, see me struggle. It's not getting any bigger. What am I doing wrong? All right, there we go, I think I got it now. 
All right, there you go. So if I wanted to kind of throw this over, well, that's not too bad. I actually kind of like that, and I could probably loosen the strap a little bit. So here's how it looks. It doesn't have anything in it, but it's comfortable. I don't feel like... Now, if I stuff it to the brim, of course, it's going to make a difference, but I don't feel like it's super bulky or anything. I can even kind of do it like that if I want it in the back. Um, so that's that one. And then let's take a look at the small. I might have to, everything that is in that bag is pretty much what I carry around. I do not carry very large bags. So I'll probably end up putting all of my things in the bag, um, to make sure that they fit nicely. Um, and then decide whether I need the bigger one. So they're exactly the same. Everything's just smaller on this one. So this is the size of this one. Both of them can hold like a phone though. So I have this like in front of my phone, which is what I record with. And that can definitely fit in there. So that's how this one looks. And then just comparing the two side by side. So here you go. Here's the mini and here's the big one. I'm not gonna lie. I can't... Mike, I can't decide. I think I'm going to probably go with the small one, but I am going to, like I said, put all of my stuff in it. So I'll kind of show you guys kind of after I do that. But they both, they're both, you know, pretty spacious. And like I said, I don't have, I don't carry a ton of things in my bag. So I don't think I'm going to need um, anything super large so let me just I'm just gonna adjust the strap on this one if the big one didn't look crazy bulky then the small one should not look crazy bulky because it's smaller but I also want to oh okay I'm having a little trouble here all right I feel like I tightened it I did not bring this down enough <laughs> so that is I, I'm not gonna wear it right here I did not loosen the strap I just tightened it so okay I'll kind of show you video of putting my stuff in um and then kind of see which one I want. So that is the mini belt bag. And the last thing I'm going to show you guys is the duffel. So I have the large Luca duffel in oatmeal. And this is what it looks like. So it is the same material, same style, same collection. This is the large bag. You can get so much stuff in here. Like if I was truly going somewhere for a weekend, I can fill this bag up with my clothes, my toiletries, everything. So this is the large version of the bag that I got. Um, and the reason I got that one is because depending on the kind of travel I'm doing, I always have like, if, of course, if you're on a flight, you have a personal bag. And even if I'm like traveling kind of distance wise, I typically have a personal bag where I put my, like my laptop, I put like snacks, all that kind of stuff, my charters. And I have the Luca backpack. So this is a smaller version. There is a larger one, but I have the Luca backpack, the small one. And this is pretty cool, but if you look at this, it doesn't expand by too much. So I have stuffed this to the brim before and it works, but sometimes I just need to be able to put more stuff in the bag. But I didn't want to have two backpacks because I don't think, I think, the one I have, I think, is 15 inches. The other one is 18 inches. I don't think the three inches is really going to give me kind of the space I'm looking for. So I decided to get the um, Luca Duffel. And this is just called Luca Duffel. It's not the mini version. This is just regular. That's the large. But if you look at this, I can get, because of the opening, we're just going to open this up. I can have this on those trips where... I need a personal bag, but I need more than the book bag is going to give me. So that's why I decided to go with this instead of getting a larger book bag. Um, and this is one I can just quickly carry around with me and I'll com show you in comparison. So this is the large and <laughs> this is the regular. So we can see, you know, the large is large. <laughs> Um, but if I put this in front of this one and kind of line it up, you know, they're not super far off. Like this one's definitely wider and taller and stuff like that. But I can put more in here than I can with the book bag. So I can even still put my laptop in here if I need to. 
I can put my snacks in here. I can put my books in here. It's just a lot more space than the book bag gives. And I think the biggest reason is because, of course, the book bag is compartmentalized. So in each little slot, you can only get us so much. This is measurement-wise still bigger as well. But it's one big open space so you can kind of manipulate your things a little bit better. So just like the large one, you have your two pocket inserts here. You have your big zipper compartment at the back. You also have a strap. Both of them come with that strap. And on the other side, you have a smaller um, zipper compartment that is the mesh. This still comes with the shoe case, which if you have a pair of shoes, you can stick that in there or you could use it as your dirty clothes hobble or whatever else you need to stick like at the bottom. Um, it also has on the front another zipper compartment, so this would be a great place where I could slip in my laptop. And then at the back, it has the handy dandy um, luggage handle area, so you can stick it on your luggage. So I, 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 I I'm, I'm already keeping. Oh, and then I forgot you also have the little pocket on this side, so you can stick like a water bottle. So like I said. Both of them, you know, this one's just larger in size, gives me more room when I don't want to carry the book bag, but I love the book bag as well when it serves its purpose, but I wanted to add on the regular size duffel or the, yeah, the regular size duffel because sometimes I need more than that and this is what that will give me. So this is definitely a keep and like I said, everything on this one is in the large, it's just a smaller size. So keep, yes. We're going to return the toiletry bag, but like I said, if you don't have either of those, I think both of them are perfect. I do think you probably get more room in the large, but the hanging one for me, I could have definitely gotten that if I had gotten that one first. I just don't need two large bags like or cosmetic toiletry cases like that, so I am going to go ahead and order the small when the stone comes back in place, and then I'll share that with you guys, of course, and make sure that it fits its purpose. And then we're going to be keeping one of these two duffels, oh, not duffels, what the heck are these, belt bags. So let me go grab my stuff and then see which one fits the best. Alright, so we got our keys here and we have everything in this little bag, like I said. Everything that's in here is what I carry around. So we're going to have our wallet. I'm going to start, you know what, I'm going to start with the large because if the large is like where I'm like, okay, that's capacity, that's full, there's no need for me to test the small. I'm going to drop my keys in there. I have my sanitizer, gum, my AirPods. And there's going to be at least one or two lip glosses. So let me make sure. So yeah. Okay. We're going to go with the large. We're going to go with the large. So I put those items in there that I called out. And here you can see them in here. And it's not tight. And I feel like, could I get this in the small? I probably could. Probably good. I probably could. But I don't want the bag to feel like it's stuffed. Like, I don't want to walk around with this and then it's stuffed to capacity. Like, I don't want that. So, this, I'm going to go with the large. And I'm glad I did that because I could actually see that and kind of test that out. So, I'm going to go with the large. And you can see I don't have a, a large wallet, small bottle, sanitizer, a little coin purse with all my pool money. I have some lotion in here, my keys, pack of gum. I don't have anything super big. But like I said, it could probably fit. Let's kind of test it out. That way you guys can see if you have exactly what I have, is this going to be enough? Or if you have similar, yeah, we're already getting tight. And I've only put in four items. I haven't even put in my sanitizer, my keys, and we haven't even talked about my phone. So like this is where we are without it oops, sorry this is where we are without it being like completely full and you can see like or all of my stuff in there so definitely definitely for the few things that I have I feel like the large bag is better but if you're someone maybe you're just putting like your wallet your keys or your wallet your keys your phone one lip gloss that might be fine 
But like I said, I don't want it to be so tight. So the small one is a no for me. I didn't hate the way the large one looked on my body. So I am okay with that. So we're keeping the large belt, loose belt, and we're keeping the regular size duffel. So <laughs> that's what we're keeping in this haul. Hopefully this helped you guys. Like I said, I've been using cow pack. Oh gosh, it's probably, it may not be a year yet, but I've used it. Actually, it hasn't been a year. It's probably been like seven months. I have flown with it. I have taken my stuff on, you know, car trips and I absolutely love it. That's why I'm continuing to buy this collection. Cow pack just dropped a maternity collection. Um, or not maternity collection, like a baby collection. So if you are having a baby, they have like baby bags and different baby items. So that's just something to check out. I will say Cow Pack also has a lot of different colors. So I like the oatmeal color, because y'all know I like the, the, the neutrals. I like the stone, but they have tons of colors. So it's definitely something to fit everybody's personality. So they also have like metallic shiny ones as well. I just didn't go that route. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video because I just said a lot. <laughs> but hopefully you found this video helpful and you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, just put them down below. If you have anything, tell me what your favorite is. Um, my name is Sarah. For those of you who are new, thank you for stopping by. Hopefully you join the family. And for those who are returning, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for keep coming back and listening to me go on and on and on about myself. I really appreciate it. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will talk to you soon.